this is one of my heavy hand knit um, wool socks and this is my 1952-1591 and um, I'm organizing and cleaning up the table here but I need to keep um, the 1591 and my 9913 over here on the kitchen table because I still may be moving and these are the two machines that I have to keep with me. Now, um, these socks are, um, it's hand spun wool and this is my own um, pattern from my um, Cape Cod Knit store. And these are flat knitted socks with normally hand sewn seams and on this pair I had used monofilament thread to hand sew them and they're a few years old and they haven't really the monofilament thread hasn't held up as as much as I want now my mother was an expert knitter and so when she sewed any seam she would never use a needle and thread she would use yarn and she and I parted ways a little bit because um, this particular sock pattern, I usually use a machine to sew the seams. And um, I know that's a little unconventional, but the um, socks themselves, you don't feel the seams when you're wearing them. And so a machine sewn seam makes them much more durable, I think. And I proved my own point um, on this pair with the monofilament thread coming out. So what I'm going to do is fix the heel area on this sock with the 1591. And this is two layers of um, hand spun wool. Now I do have pins in there. which generally aren't a problem with the 1591, but um, I still should take them out. Now, I'm showing you this because, uh, like I said, uh, the pattern itself um, is based on um, antique Turkish sock patterns. I had to do a lot of research and um, find different ways that different countries had uh, traditions in making socks and I came up with this um, simply because you knit them flat on straight needles and what that meant is that anybody can knit socks because you're just doing straight stockinette stitch knitting. Now that time it hit a pin. And this machine happens to need a new needle um, because it just pulled a little bit on some muslin, but that's not going to affect how it sews through this right now. In other words, I'm going to change the needle when I'm done with this. Now it does take, and I know this is in the way right now, but it does take a little bit of careful maneuvering. around the back and I think I have a thread caught here. Yeah, see it's the monofilament thread which you can barely see is caught on the presser foot. Now the pattern itself is very simple to make and uh, stitch. And this is, again, the heel area where you just go from one side of the sock to the other. But you want to adjust it frequently and check how it's going together. Now, not all of this had come out, um, but I might as well go from one side to the other and reinforce the whole back of the sock. But you can see over here, and I'm using black thread on purpose. Um, see how all of this monofilament had become loose? I think you can see that. And this is llama, and this is um, merino and rambouillet. And that's making a very tight seam on these socks. 
and again, it's unconventional. Um, my mother flipped out a little bit because, like I said, she was a an expert knitter, a very conventional expert knitter. In fact, she told me I was nuts. She said, who makes socks like that? And I said, well, people in Europe. Sorry, I jumped. I don't like to break a needle, and I don't have a pin in there, so I don't know what it hit. Now, these also, this particular pattern, I'll put the link to it. Um, I charge about $8 for the pattern because it's not only the one pattern. Um, the sizes can be changed for anybody from um, a toddler up to an adult just by changing a few numbers of stitches. And so it's a pattern that you buy the one pattern and you can make socks for the whole family. Let's see how that went right around the back. And it gives the, fl the this is inside out, but it gives the sock a very flat um, existence, but it fits your foot perfectly. I, I have patterns for a regular ankle height sock, and I also have sports socks for men and women with the same pattern. And if you look, Again, unconventional. These are a little bit, I've been throwing them around a little bit. Once I wash these, um, this will fall right in, and you really don't feel that against your foot when you're wearing the socks. And the 1591 is one of the machines um, that I wanted to have for sewing thick um, yarns like this, and it did it without a problem. So that's a 1952-1591 sewing heavy socks.